And the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls, having a golden cup in her hand full of abominations and filthiness of her fornication. Got a video further showing the connection between the Judeo-Satanist lobby and the Jesuit Satanist lobby. Because Judaism and Roman Catholicism are both false religions that will damn you to hell if you're adhering to them. And, you know, birds of a feather flock together. And in this particular instance, there is a Talmudic Judeo-Satanist rabbi who is basically bootlicking and kissing up to and also serving the Satanic Jesuits at a Satanic Jesuit school. Birds of a feather flock together, both of the spirit of Antichrist. But here it says on um, Gonzala University, a rabbi's work on this Jesuit campus. Rabbi Elizabeth Goldstein, who has been with Gonzala for what she might call a lucky 13 years, was thinking that a Hanukkah celebration this year with Gonzala's Jewish students might be a little misplaced uh, considering the days that the Jewish celebration don't come until December 18th and 26th after students leave for winter break. Then someone reminded me that uh, what we have a lot, sorry, that we have a lot of Christmas parties here before Christmas, and that's no problem for our Christian friends. So I guess celebrating Hanukkah early this year says, she says with obvious delight. Notice that Christmas at a Jesuit school, Christmas celebrations, okay? Christmas is a Catholic custom. But then you have these, you know, there's an uh, internet pastor over in Northern Maine who apparently thinks it's okay in liberty to be a Catholic for one day of the year, be a Jesuit for one day of the year. You know, just wanted to point that out. Uh, Christmas is completely Roman Catholic and Jesuit, but side issue. Continuing on the article, the, charm, uh, the charming and free-speaking advocate for our Jewish community, the re a religious studies professor and Jewish chaplain in mission and ministry recent, re recently reflected on what it has meant to her to be a rabbi at this Catholic Jesuit campus. Gonzalo, particularly the Jesuits, sees social justice as part of us all. Uh, we share a lot of the same values, making the world a better place. Goldstein explains, the spiritual backbone of this place makes this a special place for me to work. Birds of a feather flock together, you know, the, or should I, I should probably say the spirit of Antichrist flocks together. You know, those are of the spirit of Antichrist, but yeah, not surprising. The Judeo-Satanist lobby and the, or, or should I call it the Judeo-Jesuit lobby, is just that. The, the Judeo-Satanist lobby and the Jesuit-Satanist lobby are in cahoots with each other, and they're going to serve the Antichrist. But continuing on the article, some universities look down on other religions. Gonzalo is not afraid of other religions. Here, we pursue, we pursue truth and, and feel that Christians and Jews can absolutely thrive together in community, but there is more we need to do to better understand one another. I committed to that work, Goldstein says. Talking about her Jewish community here, she explains that Judaism is not just about faith. Jews do not consider themselves religious or having a faith tradition uh, would see themselves as part of the Jewish people. Holidays are one such means to those ends of being together as a community. The religious aspects and aspect and spirit, spiritual significance of the holidays are meaningful for some Jews as they are for some Christians. But many just come for the community and that's okay too. Part of the rabbi's reward with serving this community is derived from efforts by Gonzalo to give the Jewish students, faculty, and staff a place to call their own. With a little more than 50 Jewish students at GU, the community now has a sacred, plate, sacred space on the third floor of the college hall down the interfaith hall where muslim students also have their own spiritual quarters jews jesuits and muslims birds of a feather antichrist birds of a feather flocking together judeo satanists islamo satanists and jesuit satanists there we go uh it says our sacred place is for monthly shabbat services our students on friday oh, sorry for our students on friday nights usually followed by the community shabbat dinner in the hearth room next door goldstein says we hold saturday morning services once or twice a semester in these services we can take out the torah and chant from it the torah is a holy book featuring the five first five chapters of the jewish bible the sacred school uh, was delivered to Gonzalo's campus in 2021 well they actually believe the talmud the, the talmud actually overrides the torah in Talmudic Judeo-Satanism, just like how the Roman Catholic traditions override the Word of God in Jesuit Satanist traditions. But continuing on in the article, when Goldstein came to Gazelle in 2010 to teach religious studies, there were a few Jewish students enrolled and no formal Jewish community there. Since I was a rabbi and extrovert, students wanted me to help formalize our community. 
uh, have more events, more formal groups, more sac uh, sacred services. Goldstein says we use the reflection room on Heming Hemingston, whatever Hemingson, whatever, however you say it, third floor, uh, and we have formed the Jewish Buildings Club through GBSA. This fall, the rabbi organized the High Holy Days on campus for the first time, opening with Rosh Hashanah, Jewish New Year. Services on September 25th, accumulating with Yom Kippur Day of Atonement on October 5th. The Holy Days were part, or sort of, were um, was a theme of being repentant, being the best part of oneself, and forgiving sins, self righteousness, being the best part of oneself. Just Talmudic Judeo Satanist. Jesuit Satanist self-righteousness. She never loses her passion to, to uh, on this year's holy days to give her an opportunity. She loves teaching that too. Her subjects often include her views on life, the Torah, and biblical studies, where she teaches how to live out lessons of the Bible. Yeah, in the light of their blasphemous Talmud. I've grown and I have added much sorry, and I've added to the conversation in this community. Goldstein says, being a rabbi at Gonzala is what it means to be in one community together. Yeah, birds of a feather flock together. Antichrist you know, spirited individuals flock together. The Muslims, the, the Jesuits, and the Talmudic Judeo-Satanists are all of the same spirit, the spirit of Antichrist. Plain and simple. Uh, 1 John 4, verse 1 to 3, you know, if you don't confess that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh, you're of the spirit of Antichrist. That's Islamo-Satanism, Judeo-Satanism, and Catholic Satanism, put it that way, Catholic Satanism in a nutshell. So don't be deceived, the, Ju the Judeo-Jesuit lobby is hard at work, and they're hard at work for their master, the Black Pope in Rome. So you can call me a conspiracy theorist all you want, that's the truth, you can like it or lump it. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren, goodbye.